my fellow Singaporeans. People's Voice would like to wish all Singaporeans a very happy National Day. This is a very special National Day because this year marks the bicentennial of the founding of modern Singapore by Raffles in 1890, 200 years ago. This should be an occasion of joyous celebrations as very few nations can claim to be 200 years old. But unfortunately, despite the Prime Minister's best efforts to sound an optimistic note in his National Day address, our national mood is somber, and this is reflected in how few national flags have been put up by our people to celebrate this historic occasion. And this somber mood is understandable, because a great many Singaporeans no longer feel that Singapore is a home to them or their next generation. Many Singaporeans feel that they are refugees in their own country, with a government that takes care of foreigners better than Singapore citizens. It is a feeling that is understandable when one no longer believes that the government is batting for you or has your back. We know that so many of our people are losing jobs, not because they are less able, but because our labor laws are tilted in favor of employers for them to hire cheaper foreign workers. We know that we can do so much better as a society than to force our elderly to work at menial jobs in order to survive because our national retirement scheme called the CPF is absolutely inadequate to meet their needs. And we know instinctively that a government that spends billions of taxpayers' dollars on educating foreign students, when many of our own Singapore students deserve to go to university, but cannot afford the fees, is a government that has forsaken its own children and talent. A government cannot expect its citizens to have a sense of patriotism, when its policies are designed to replace citizens with foreigners. Raffles saw in Singapore an unpolished gem when he laid eyes on this island 200 years ago. Through the centuries, that unpolished gem has become a shining jewel in the crown because of the genius and sacrifice of our people. We do not need to create an artificial structure called the jewel at a cost of $1.7 billion of our taxpayers' money. That is a fake jewel adding to the PAP's monumental folly. What they have failed to recognize is the jewel that is in each and every one of the 3.5 million Singaporeans and the dormant genius that lies in each and every one of us. A dormant genius which, if released, can make us shine even brighter in our region and the world. We should be that shining jewel to light the way for other nations in how, one, to take care of the elderly and give them a life of joy and dignity. Two, harness the potential of every citizen and not allow a single drop of talent go to waste. And three, give the best affordable education, childcare and healthcare to every citizen. We can dispel this somber national mood in the coming year by stepping from the old into the new and reinvigorating the Singapore spirit by electing leaders who recognize the Singapore talent in every one of us. I know when that happens, we will once again have that explosion of joy come National Day 2020. We will once again feel that Singapore is our home. I know then that every home in our country will proudly display a Singapore flag. Thank you.